So I come in from winter break, I, I open the door and, you know, Bob's there and I'm just like, <sighs> let's loft the beds. <laughs> like, I don't think I said hello first. I think I like walked in the door and was like, you want to loft? You want to put the beds in on, on top? Bunk them? You want to bunk the beds? And it's just like, well, we'd have so much more room for activities that way. I know. God, that movie hadn't even come out. I know. <laughs> That's exactly what we were doing. We wanted room for activities. Like, we need more space. For when people come over, yeah. when we have all these parties. Obviously. <laughs> We're cool guys. You guys throw a lot of parties after this? Yeah, oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. 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 God, we definitely threw at least so one. <laughs> <laughs> we threw we did throw one. <laughs> God. <laughs> Great. I can't All wait right. to hear how worth it this was. So our current setup, the way we had it set up, because we didn't know each other going in, we basically split the room in half, right? The way a lot of dorm rooms do it when you're with a stranger. Yeah. One half was mine, one half was Mark's, but it's not that big of a room. Like, if we were standing shoulder to shoulder, we'd probably take up the whole width of the center of that room. Yeah. So, if you bunk one bed on top of the other, you get, like, a corner of the room. You get the whole corner for whatever you want. But the way the beds are supposed to go together when you bunk them, you're supposed to, one, lower the height of the bed that goes on top. Because when they're on the floor, the bed is, like, all the way up on the highest setting it can go, right? So, you can put stuff under it. Okay. Okay. But if you leave it like that and then put it on top of another bed, there's like maybe a foot between the bed <laughs> and the yeah, ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really, like legitimately. So you're supposed to change that, but that required like tools or I don't know, knowledge. We didn't know how to do that. So we didn't do that. Of course not. Other than the fact that you're supposed to one, ask for permission and two, ask for help from adults. There's supposed to be a thick metal pin in each of the four legs. They stick into the bottom of the top head that lock it in place so yeah. they, they can't slip off. That seems crucially important, <laughs> sure right? Sure does. It's very important. So we're looking at this and we're like, yeah, I don't think we need, I don't, we can't adjust your bed. I think, and Mark is like, that's fine. That's fine. I'll sleep up high. Good air up high. It'll be fine. <laughs> Good air. Like, we get past that hurdle, and then we're looking, and we're like, all right, metal pins, metal pins. We don't have metal pins. And I don't know. I think it was you, Mark. I got yeah, to give credit me. where it's due. <laughs> we're sitting there, like, brainstorming, and Mark, like, goes into his wardrobe where his clothes hang up and stuff and turns back to me with a pair of scissors <laughs> and a plastic clothes hanger. <laughs> And is like, if we just snip this straight part of this clothes hanger, it's like metal pins. It was the perfect size. It fit perfectly. It was the right diameter. It has, I'm pretty sure, plastic clothes hangers you can snap no. with your bare hands have the same tensile and sheer strength as metal pins. No. So like, yeah, he looks at me and of course he holds up the scissors and then the thing. And I look at him and I'm like, perfect. <laughs> How big do you think they need to be? Let's do this. No hesitation at all. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, oh. And my favorite part of this whole thing, we eyeball them to the same-ish length. Yeah, no. Why would you bother making sure they were even? And set them all in. We hoist the bed up really precariously, uh -huh. set it on the pins. One of the four pins was like half an inch longer than the other ones. <laughs> and it was half an inch too long. Yep. So the bed, the weight of that corner of Mark's bunked bed, which is now like 10 feet off the ground, is not supported on the leg of the bed sitting on the top of the bottom bed. The weight of that bed is sitting on the plastic clothes hanger. And we look at that and we sort of like, I don't remember the conversation, but we looked at it for maybe a second, like 10 <laughs> seconds total. And then Mark was just like, ah, fuck it. <laughs> of course. Yeah. And just climbed up. And so for the entire rest of that school year, yeah. Mark's bunk bed, one quarter of the legs was supported by like a, a quarter inch thick piece of plastic. You should be fucking dead. 